Martin Bootser, Epistola Adiwanum Calvinum, Episode 6. Praefuit canonicis regularibus Lucae, arduxet tres, unum graeque doctissimum, reliquos duos iuenes studiosos. Hic laboravamus iam ne in tantis ecclesiae nostrae apabus, he esuriant. Butcher continues his description of the life and career of Peter Martyr, and he says, Praefuit. This is the third singular perfect of the verb praesum, which is a compound of pri and sum, praesum praesse. It means to oversee or to be in charge of, and it always patterns with the dative. So he, meaning Peter Martyr, was in charge of or oversaw the canons regular, canonicis regularibus, at Luca. This is a locative of Lucca, a town in Italy, northwest of Florence. I'll show you on the map its location in a moment. So this is a feminine, singular, and locative. That is, Lucae is. Canonicis regularibus, as I've said, is masculine, plural, and dative. Dative because of the verb prifuit. And canons regular in the Roman system are monks who live together communally, and they follow a canon or an order a rule of St. Augustine, St. Benedict, etc. So Bootser is telling us that Peter Martyr had significant authority at Lucca in supervising the monastery there. Adduxit trace. He brought with him, adduxit is from the verb ad duco. It's a third conjugation verb, ad duco, ad ducere, to lead to. He brought with him, and this is perfect, three individuals, three men. One of them, unum, is doctissimum graeque, very skilled in Greek. Remember that previously he said of Peter Martyr himself that he was ad modum doctus in the three languages. But now Bootser says that this young man is doctissimum, very, very skilled in the Greek language, and this is an adverb graeque. The other two, reliquos duos, the other two young men are studiosos, very zealous. Zealous here means zealous for the Protestant faith and also probably zealous for their learning, given the context. These are accusative, these four words, just like unum and doctissimum, because they are in apposition to trace, which in turn is the object of ad duxit, Peter Martyr being the subject of ad duxit. Then he says hic. This hic is the adverb, meaning here, we have labored, we have labored here, or we keep on working here, then ne with the subjunctive. Ne plus a subjunctive, when used dependently, is a negative purpose clause. We have labored here in order that not. The archaic expression lest works very well, although, as I've said, it's archaic. We have worked here in order that these men, he, with reference to the three, these men, in tantis apibus, in the midst of such great resources, in tantis apibus, such great resources of our church, ecclesiae nostri being feminine, singular, and genitive, in such great resources of our church, these men may not go hungry, ne esuriant. Ne, then, with esuriant, esuriant being a subjunctive of the verb Esurio esurira, fourth conjugation verb, which means to be hungry, so that these men not be hungry. If you look carefully on the map here, you can see the location of the city of Lucca, north of Pisa and northwest, or mostly west, you might say, of Florence, which was Peter Martyr's hometown. So he left Lucca with three companions and traveled north, first to Zurich and then to Strasbourg, where Bootser met him.